take one welcome back to another video and if you haven't already seen it go and watch part one of this video it's the white and rose gold build uh, this is going to be a build for Emma actually it's going to go to her so she's going to help build that as well I will help do some of the tricky bits as well but um, yeah go and watch that one before you watch this one Corsair's Iron Claw RGB wireless rechargeable gaming mouse features custom RGB zones across the front, back and mouse wheel using Corsair's IQ RGB software with 50 million clickable Omron switches, 10 programmable buttons, high quality rubber palm grips and 18,000 dpi optical sensor with a sub 1 millisecond 2.4 gig slipstream wireless bluetooth or wired connections the corsair iron claw rgb wireless mouse is a great option for your next mouse upgrade for more information and where to buy check out the links in the video description so before we get building let's go over some of the parts that we're using for emma's build now we've already done a video on the Gigabyte Aorus B550M Pro. So go and check that one out as well before you watch this one to know a bit more detail about this particular motherboard, this one here. And we were initially gonna pair this up with a Ryzen uh, 3300X, but because stock is really limited or in fact non-existent at the minute, as far as we can tell, we pre-ordered it months and months ago and it just never came into stock. And I don't even think it's in stock now. Uh, do comment down below if that is incorrect and you did manage to get a 3300X. Because of that, we've gone a step, a couple of steps up actually. So we've got a, 30, uh, a Ryzen 3600, Ryzen 5 3600 here, which I got second hand for about £150, which I thought was a great bargain considering this is now just under £200 to buy brand new. So um, yeah, good, good bargain there. And I've already tested it and it works perfectly fine. But yeah, it's always a bit risky buying secondhand stuff. So along with that, we've obviously got the motherboard and the CPU. We are going to be uh, putting an AIO water cooler on this as well, but it's not quite ready yet. So for this particular video, we are going to include the, the Rafe Prism, the AMD Prism cooler, which is this one here. There are two versions of this. This is the older one. One of, one of them had uh, four heat pipes on the newer one. Well, it's been out a while now, but the newish one has uh, six heat pipes on it, which obviously helps keep it a lot cooler. But this is by no means a, a rubbish cooler. It's a very good cooler from AMD. And you just look at the size of that thing. It's huge and it does a good job of keeping the 3600 very, very cool. So um, that's what we're gonna be using on this build so that we can get it up and running. The final component that we've got new for this build that we've got actually from the guys over at Crucial who've sent this over for Emma's build specifically for it. This is the Ballistics Gaming Memory. This is 3600 speed DDR4 and with RGB. And as you can see there, and you'll see when we build it, it's in white, which will match the build that we're doing for her perfectly, I hope. Color scheme on the RGB, maybe she can pick that, but um, we've got the option to do RGB if she wants it or just turn it off. So uh, we've got that. Thank you very much, Crucial, for sending that over for this particular build. So um, I think that pretty much wraps up everything that is different for her PC. Now we've done a few videos on her PC. You may have seen the test bench that we had uh, when we looked at this video. In fact, uh, that was most, most of her components and the 11 year old CPU was actually her old system, um, which this is now replacing. So that was all done with the parts from her build. But anyway, enough of the boring stuff, let's get on. With some building. Okie dokie Emma, so um, where are we going to start then? Have you actually built one before? I don't think you built one before on this channel, have you? Mm. No, in fact I don't think you've ever built one before. Well, I've done something you at have school helped. computers. Uh, okay, you've done some at school, so yeah. what would you do first? What do you think we should do first? Obviously we've got the motherboard out ready to go there, mm -hmm. but We've already got the CPU in, so you don't need to do that bit. Uh, what else would you put on it? What would you do? 
Now, if you need some help, I will happily give you some help. Put this in. Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Do you know how to do that? Pull these things out of the uh, yes, on your one you have um, clips. Let's see if we can get back. So while Emma's opening the packet there, on some other boards you don't have clips on either side, but on this particular one, the B550 Air Mores Pro, you do. You have to pull them back. So we're going to be populating the two furthest away from the CPU because we're only using the two DDR4 uh, DIMMs. So these two here are going to be populated on this particular build and I'm gonna lie that down so Emma can do it without me getting my hands squished underneath. Okay, so they only go a certain way around. So let's uh, see if you... Easy peasy, see how easy it was. Now you've got to push them in. So use two hands, push down until it clicks. Don't do anything with that. Push that? Yes. That's it. And then do the other side. Oh. That's it, easy peasy. As long as the little notch, so this little notch here, as long as that lines up with the notch on the motherboard, uh, you can't see it, but I'll, I'll show it on the screen. Uh, as long as it lines up with the motherboard, then you've got it the, the right way around. So nice and easy. There you go, Ems. You're not going to break it. You're fine. That's it. Easy. As long as you push straight down when you're pushing them in and you don't wiggle them around or you know all that, then it'll be absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Right, cool. Okay. There's that one done. What else? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, shall we put the um well we can either put the cooler on or we can put the NVMe SSD in there. I don't even know what that is. Hard drive. <laughs> put that in then. Yeah, you wanna do that? Yeah. So we're gonna need a screw screwdriver for this. You're going to need to undo that. Let me find the screwdriver for you. So the drive that we're going for, for Emma's boot drive, we're going to swap her SSD over to this one because this is an NVMe drive, so it's going to be a lot faster anyway. Uh, we're going to clone the drive over once it's all done to this drive here. This is just an older 600p Intel SSD NVMe drive. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to be using. It is only 128 gigabytes but that's still about the same size as what she's currently using. Generally, I wouldn't recommend using such a small drive for your boot drive, at least 240, 250, maybe 500 if you can afford that as well. Um, but eventually this is gonna be replaced with a bigger one. So Emma, if you want to pop that in. How? <laughs> so it goes in like that. So unscrew that that will rest on top and then you'll screw the screw back in which will hold that down okay and then when that when that's done when you're happy that's down and secure and it doesn't wiggle peel this off because this is the um, heat sink okay and that will then go back in there like the same way it came out basically and it will kind of squish onto the top of that okay and that helps keep it cool because these do get fairly hot Because the AMD logo's there, I thought maybe best to have it that way. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I don't care. No, I know you don't, but I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it would bug me. So nice. these are a little bit tricky. Get one end in first, and hook it onto the, the onto the existing uh, brackets that come with the motherboard as standard. And yeah. then you kind of just keep it hooked on, keep it hooked on, and then basically Try and line it up the best you can. And then, so that's on now, roughly on. Right. Now I need to make sure this is pushed on. Back in the day, this type of connection has been used for God knows how long, 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 long time. 
but it never used to have this little clip thing on it. You used to have to use a screwdriver to push this metal clip down onto the motherboard bracket for the CPU. But nowadays, you don't need to do that. Uh, but it's still quite tricky, so um, we're just gonna go with the flow. Can you just hold that for me? Hold what? Yeah, I've got to push down really hard. There we go. Oh, that wasn't actually that bad, so it's not as bad as I thought. So now Emma is gonna twist that round, that thing there. That's the clamp that pushes it all together, all the way around. It's gonna, it's gonna go back really hard. So you've got to, got to do it hard. Go on. That's it. Right. Now you can pick it up with that. So now we've got to put the heatsink back on the VRM solution. This is the VRM solution for this particular motherboard. We've got to put this back on, but we also need to put this back on. Now we've done it white. We sprayed it white because obviously this is a white and rose gold build and we thought it would look quite nice. There's literally no other white apart from the Aorus logo down here. So um, we are going to put this back on and that will sit on that way like that. And then the, VR, the heatsink VRM will, VRM heatsink, sorry, will sit on top of here, on top of the heatsink. So we don't need that right now. What we do need to do is screw this back on. Anyway, let's get the VRM heatsink on and get the show on the road and get this thing built. So what we need is, let's turn it around that way a little bit. Now I've got to try and remember which screws go where. So, so, you know, you so before, bro. this goes on top of here. Obviously. And there we go, that's it sprayed white with the white RAM. So I think the next step, what's the next step? I don't know. Well, let's get it in the case, shall we? I guess. <laughs> it's time to put it in the case. Let's get that in. So do you want to hold that? Mm -hmm. Hold that for me while I get this in. Does it fit? Does it fit? That's what we want to know. Well, here it is, the mostly finished, about 98% finished computer for, for Emma, for my daughter Emma. Um, as you can see, hopefully you can see, it's missing the front panel there, uh, the side panel there, and that's because it hasn't arrived yet. So we had to replace that because the, the original one was damaged. So I'm gonna change to a vlog style video now because I'm single-handed finishing this video off and I'll show you around the case. Well, here it is. And if you watched the first part, you would have already seen the outside of the case, uh, minus all the components, obviously. So we're not gonna go over this too much. But uh, as you can see there, we've got the three 120 mil fans there and she can change the color of these. Probably she's gonna do it white, but uh, that's up to her, it's her build. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the inside of the case. Okay, so obviously we've got the B550M Aorus Pro which we did a video on as well, as I said earlier in the video. Um, and that's, as you can see, that looks stunning. Now that's been put back on. We sprayed this um, IO shield cover there. That's hidden behind the fan partly. 
um, but there's not much we can do about that. I had a choice with the AIO cooler that we got from Acer Tech. That was This was actually for our charity PC build, but they're sending us another cooler for that because we've upgraded the CPU for that build. So I've used the Acer Tech cooler for this build, and I must say, we've um, customized the outside of it. We just sprayed it basically, masked this bit off. And yeah, I think that looks really, really good, actually. It matches the rest of the build. Apart from these black fans, but you know, we've got black on the motherboard, black fans, so it's not too bad. Black tubes here for the AIO cooler, which we also sprayed the outside of as well. And that is looking really nice. We might change the orientation of that and put it over here. Uh, we're not sure yet. We'll check the thermals eventually over time and see how they do with it pushing the air through. Either that or I might make that push pull and put another fan on here. But for now, we've got three fans on the front intake. One on the back and one up there for outtake. Not forgetting we've got the Crucial Ballistics white RGB round there. Unfortunately, I think because of the color of the uh, these fans at the top there, it's making white. This is supposed to be white and it's actually looking more like, at least on in my eyes anyway, it's looking more of the same color on the fan. So um, we're gonna try and change the colors and just make sure, because at the minute they look pink instead of white. Um, the camera shows it as white actually so i think it's a trick of the light and that will change once we change the color of the fans up there so that is that and i'm really impressed it's not too bad for a basic ryzen 3600 build with 16 gig of ram that's a huge upgrade from what she had before the amd phenom 46495 is it 495 x4 four core she's gone from four core to six core on obviously a huge generational leap here anyways so anyway emma hasn't seen the build complete yet so i'm gonna go grab her now and see what she thinks you managed to fit three yeah we got three. Said you're doing two. no i got three in Whoa. and the one on the back um hopefully we can change the color if this works to a different colour. I wouldn't mind purple. No, purple actually looks quite good. So you've got three, you've got the lights down in the corner down there, which you can't really see because the graphics card's in the way. You can kind of see it underneath. And then you've got the LED strip, which is at the back here. Wait, is that the lights that are in the motherboard? The, yeah. Cool. What and you've got the colours on the cooler. You can't really see it with, the, with this colour, but that's lit up as well. That's white. These are meant to be white, but like I said, I think it's reflecting the colour off of these. I mean, I don't mind it staying like that. No, it looks quite cool, doesn't it? Yeah, boy! <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, so I have a play with the colours. Oh god, that's awful. That looks... Okay, yes, boy! <laughs> this is the colour that I wanted. <laughs> so load up the RGB Fusion 2.0 oh, software. And uh, yeah, just play something. You'll see that the songs, the, the lights are flashing now. Oh snap. Hold on, let me play a different song. Can you turn the volume off as well? That'll affect it. Not that we will hear it, but it will make the lights do their thing. So you can see the lights are flashing now look, to whatever song it is that Emma's listening to. What is it? Let me guess. BTS. <laughs> nope. Oh, okay. I could play a BTS song though. Yeah, play a BTS song. That seems to be all the rage at the minute, right? Ah, wrong colour. I'll play dynamite. Sure, play dynamite. So all the lights are now flashing. You've got Wish I could add the cooler light. You've got lights down here. We can't really see it. I'll show some B-roll shots so you can actually see it. The lights there will flash. The lights on the cooler will flash. These will flash. And then you've got the LED strip down. Can you change here. the brightness of that or is it just No, really that's, that's it. You can turn the brightness down, but in the software. And then you've got the RGB lights. These um... ones here. As well as to it lights up like a living Christmas tree. Christmas. Wow. She's going to be playing with the lights for hours now. Oh, hours and hours and hours. Oh, she's gone multicolored. <laughs> she's going crazy. So, what do you That's think of your new PC, it. Emma? Do you like it? Yeah. Better than it was, wasn't it? Better yeah. than on a box. I mean, it wasn't originally in a box, it was in a different case, but this has taken so long. <laughs> you yeah. did most of the work on this on the chassis actually you watch the first video you're rubbing and sanding it down and spraying and all sorts of stuff you you did did a good job actually 
very good job. We still got to sort of some bits out on the paint that I, that I mentioned in the first video, but we will get to that at some point. But generally, she needs the system up and running now. And obviously I've missed a bit there, look, I've got to respray that because I forgot to do that. But other than that, it's a fully functional new computer. And I hope you enjoy it, Emma, you deserve it. So there we go that brings us to the end of the video and Emma's seen the final build now obviously she was part of the build process anyway so she kind of knew what it was going to look like but she obviously as you saw just a moment ago saw the whole thing completed and uh, what do you think of it so far? Good. Good? Yeah. Cool I think that means it's pretty pretty good then she's happy with it. We've got to tweak some bits here and there as you've seen previously but um, we'll, we'll do those over time and we're going to be doing benchmarks and some heat testing thermal testing as well and we'll do that, do that in another video we haven't got time to do that in this video we've got other projects to work on now but we're going to sort those out for a part three of this build and we'll show you uh, just how this thing performs so that's it Thank you very much for tagging along with us while we built Emma her Severe Anxiety PC and um, don't forget to check out our upcoming Severe Anxiety PC giveaway that is sponsored by various companies and we're going to do a video showing some of the parts that we've got. Some of them you may have noticed behind me like the uh, ROG Strix X570E and some other Corsair peripherals as well and we'll show those off in all their glory in another video. But for now that's the end and we'll see you in the next one.